This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. I need to warn you, the video you are about to watch has been rated IC60 plus for interactive content in excess of 60 minutes. If you are not emotionally prepared for all the high hellos that are about to come and a full hour, a full hour of distractions, Weight Watchers or WW ideas and friendly content, hit stop now. I repeat, this is your only warning. Do not proceed further if you are not ready. But if you're like me and you like to make new friends on your weight loss journey, this is the video for you. We will be saying hi, hello, as this was filmed live. And if you ever get a chance to join us on Sunday nights, it's just over on the Facebook page, If You Have an Egg, A Weight Watcher's Journey, although I guess now we need to change it to a WW journey. Um, but we would love to see you live over there so that we can say hi and hello. And if you're new, please do give us a shout out. Let us know that you're new and where you're from so that we can all greet you. Also pay attention, um, running across the bottom right now, right now is some important information that you need for how to join us in other um, social media areas, how to get this free, how to watch this on demand, and how to make sure that you are always notified when we have a new chat come up. And more importantly, read, 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 read across the bottom. Right now, our affiliate links, which include discounts, are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Check those out. We get some great deals for the Egg Lady and for the Egglets. I hope you enjoy the at least 60 minutes of free weight loss journey content and that you will subscribe so that you can always be notified when we're coming up and that you can you will share with another um, weight loss journey buddy, a WW member um, who needs some help and so we can help each other along this journey. So thanks again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, please comment below. Hope to see you Sunday. Hey, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. John's already gotten a phone call. The chat's been going for two seconds. It's been going for two seconds and he already has a phone call. Anyway, hopefully they'll be able to control themselves today. But yeah, happy Sunday. Today is September the 30th. And if you're, hello April. And if you're joining us live, please say hi and hello. And as soon as a lot of people get here, or you know, everybody gets here, um, I'll give you all some exciting news about the, don't have to warn you about the hey hellos um, after this week. So that's pretty exciting, but hello Allison. So today is Sunday, September the 30th. Can you believe it? It's almost October. So I just got used to saying September and it's almost time to say October. Hey Valerie and hello Suzanne. Happy birthday, Suzanne. Everybody tell Suzanne happy birthday. I did not realize I have three friends with the same birthday. I don't know how I missed this information, but hey Claudie, hey Darlene, and hey Melanie. Hey my Christy. So everybody tell Suzanne happy birthday. And hey Cynthia. Yeah, hello guys. So and hello Sandra from Dingman's Ferry and Sandra. It is so funny. We used you as an example this week. Hello, Kim, and hello, Wanda from Arizona. So we were talking about people like, you know, us liking to say hi and hello, and hello, Sylvia from Canada. Yeah, hey, Carol Lou. We were talking about that, and I said, yeah, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. I said, I wouldn't get to say Sandra from Dingman's Ferry, you know, every time. But anyway, sorry, we just brought your name up in conversation. And hello, it's Beth's first time listening. Yeah, it's Beth's first time. And hello, Lisa. Hello, oh, Michelle saying happy birthday to um, Suzanne. Hey, Shirley Ann, and hey, Sharon. So yeah, so tell our new people hello. Everybody, please welcome them. Please welcome Beth. Hello, Asma. Yeah, hey, Cindy. Yep, it's, oh, it's one week till fall break. Ooh, for Cindy, awesome. Hello, Melissa from West Virginia. Yeah, y'all, so y'all welcome each other and tell, you, tell each other happy birthday for the three that are having birthdays today. Let's see, Robin. Hey, Kelly, you saved me from the Browns overtime game. Oh, no. So is that what's going on next door? Yeah, so we have, we live in a loft, so it's, you know, like a glorified apartment. But, um, and hello, Roberta. So the guys next door are getting wound up up about something. Hey, Sherry. So I didn't know what it was. So I guess it's the, yeah, I guess it's that game. Yeah. Good to know. Hey, Kathy. Yeah. Hello, everybody. So it is. Hello, Sherry. So it is September the 30th and I'm checking my watch again just to make sure I'm saying the right month. But so now that I have, um, now that I am, hey, Stacy, just gotten used to saying September, it's time for October. That's tomorrow in case you didn't know that. Hey, Teresa. Yeah. So it's already almost October. Yeah, Barbara says hello from the crossroads and happy October Eve. It is, it's happy, it's October Eve, yeah. And thanks Kim for welcoming the new members. So, I just have to say, hey Wanda, 
Yeah, hey Pamela, hey Kathy, another Kathy. Oh, we have like six Kathys here already tonight. Seriously, we have like six. So I just have to tell everybody, hello Joanne from Key West. Um, I have to tell everybody that we have some pretty exciting news. So there are quite a few of you here already. So I'm gonna tell you a couple of things. Um, yeah, and hey Melissa, and Melissa says, welcome to WW, WW. So we will be talking about that in a few minutes. Hey Sybil, um, oh no, and the Steelers are getting ready to play. Carol says the Steelers are getting ready to play and she may have to bug out early. Yeah, don't tell Casey, she'll be, she'll be getting out. Hey Tammy from Georgia, yeah, and hey Kathy. So, um, and hey Tracy. So we are, yes, hello? Oh, okay. Sorry, John's back in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sybil. Hey, Bonnie. Uh-oh, Bonnie's internet is, internet is acting up and she can't hear us. Sorry. Hey, Debbie was from Wisconsin. I know, and I can't believe it's already October either. So, okay, a couple of quick things. Um, hey, Laura says Steelers, what channel? No, no, no. You're not switching. You're not switching over. No, no, no. You can find out later what happened. And hello, Evie. So, a couple of exciting things. Um, hello, Celine from South Georgia. Pretty soon. Hello, Brandy. Pretty soon. Hey, Lacey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all are like popping in. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, and hello, Sylvia. So, hello, Janet. Pretty soon. We will not have to, um, I will not have to give my announcement at the, um, at the beginning of each one of these. Hello, Linda, about saying the hi, hello. So, hello, Tracy. I will say, um, we, I have had some pretty darn, um, hateful, um, I don't know what to call them. Anyway, some people who lead a lot of love, apparently. Anyway, uh, like, I don't know, some pretty mean stuff this week. So, I decided I could do a couple of things. I could either have t-shirts made that said, wait, there's your other birthday girl. Hello, Lynn, happy birthday. Everybody tell Lynn happy birthday. So, got one more birthday girl to come in, but she may or may not join us tonight. So, you know, who knows? Um, but anyway, so we've had some pretty, you know, pretty pretty mean um hateful stuff going on um oh and tanya likes my shirt yeah casey got this for me thank you hello marlene so we've had some yeah pretty nasty stuff this week um and some of them are funny like if y'all are i don't think they're going to be here but the people who were sending the mean messages or the kind of nasty messages um <clears throat> it was just funny because they were um watching like multiple videos you know like okay i'm four in and um oh and good good laura they're like you know four in they're like they were like four or five videos in and complaining and i thought and at first i got real you know y'all know me y'all that know me know me at first i got my feelings hurt um and then i got mad and then and sybil knows what kind of shirt this is and then um and then i was like wait a minute why did you watch five of them if you didn't like it stop stop don't watch five why did you get five hours in you know and one of them was like okay well you know this was pretty much a disaster <laughs> she was like this was this, this this is not exactly what she said but to paraphrase it was like well this was a disaster i don't even know why i watched this it was a complete waste of time but i tell you what i'm gonna watch again next week and give you another chance so okay don't bother watching this week but the good news is the good news is though Casey and I have come up with a video. She, we're still working on it because, you know, Casey's in her mad video skills now. I mean, she's like, she kicks it up a notch like every single week. So she, um, uh, she, had, she anyway, we're working on it. We are working on a video and it's a short, short video. It's 120 seconds. So it's a 120 second long video and it just, it's going to be at the beginning when we show it on YouTube. So today, Today, today is the very last time that you all have, that you all that are here live have to hear me say, if you're here live, we're doing this live, blah, 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 aloha, Kathy, you know, blah, 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 and if you're on YouTube later, da, 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 I do not have to announce that anymore. So today's the last day that y'all that are here live have to hear about the YouTube people later. And thank y'all for the love going by, the thumbs ups and the hearts. Yeah, thank y'all for the love bucks. So anyway, so the, the, that little short clip, the 120 seconds will air at the beginning of each YouTube video so that people on YouTube will get a little 120 seconds of, Hey, this was live. Hey, Cheyenne. Hey, Cheyenne. I've never, have I seen you before? Are you new? Let us know. Um, but of, um, you know, just a little 120 second clip of, Hey, this was live. I'm going to say hi, hello. If you're not prepared for that, you know, kind of 
you know, move along. But hopefully it's funny. Um, yeah, Christy, we are. We're adding a mini commercial. It's a tiny, open. Oh, Cheyenne's new. I thought you were. Yeah, everybody tell Cheyenne hi. And I'm going to spell it. It's C-H-E-Y-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. So that's different than any Cheyenne that I know. So everybody be sure and tell Cheyenne um, hi. Open. Oh, April's down 17.4 pounds. Awesome. Dale's first time watching. Everybody tell Dale hello. Yeah. Yay. But anyway, so we are doing a mini commercial that is going to, it's a 120 second long commercial and it will air at the beginning of each one of these when they are on YouTube. So you all don't have to listen to it anymore. Okay, so that's one bit of good news. Um, the next bit of good news is that Casey finished version one of the Bravo stickers and a couple of y'all got them today. So I added a, she's probably gonna kill me, but I added a background color to what she had done just so that they would show up as I was um, passing them out on Facebook. But so some of y'all got, a couple of y'all got um, Bravo stickers today. So if you got a Bravo sticker, yes, uh, no, it would have been today. So if you got a Bravo, one of the new Bravo stickers today, it's a digital Bravo sticker, meaning it's only online. Um, just give us a shout out if you got one and if you like it um, or if you saw it. Everybody who's here tonight will get a digital Bravo sticker. I'll just hand out one. Like I'll still do the Bravos, but I'm just gonna hand out one digital Bravo sticker for everybody that's here with us on Facebook. Um, I can't possibly go through and hand out 114, 115 now um, Bravo stickers. So you'll all get one and you can share it. You can just share it, yeah. Hello, Brenda. And so, oh, and Gail is new. Oh, yeah, Gail has been on her Weight Watchers journey since March and over 61 pounds. Woo, you, and you notice I just called it Weight Watchers. So anyway, okay, so everybody welcome her. Welcome Gail. Um, she's another newbie, and that's awesome, and thank you all so much for telling me. Um, so anyway, so the Bravo stickers, we are going to start passing those out, and Casey has put them into a format where you can actually, um, we can actually have it printed on a t-shirt, and she is working on um, the uh, the version. Um, you, you can copy it, Laura. Um, hey, Ann from Kentucky, just north of here. Um, so she's working on a way that she can actually put it up on Etsy so that y'all can print it off. Um, so y'all can print it off on sticker paper or just on regular paper and you can stick it in your weeklies. Hello, Betty. You can stick it in your weeklies, you know, like you could actually like stick it in here since y'all are gonna start keeping these. Um, or if you keep a little journal. Um, hello, Marlene from Florida. And hello, Karen. So I know some of y'all like to keep journals and some of y'all have some really elaborate um, bullet journals going on and things. So Casey's gonna put it in a format so that y'all can print it um, if you want to and you know, and paste it in there. And hello, Sherry. And okay, so that's the second thing of good news. Um, the third thing of good news, um, and don't miss the Bravo stickers, Tracy, because we still have them. We still have Bravo stickers. So our meeting has Bravo stickers. Right now they're digital, but soon you will be able to print them. And Dusty just got really excited because I went like this and went like this. And he is, oh, and Casey is C-A-S-E-Y, but on here on Facebook, we spell it K-C. He is super excited. He thinks we're doing something. Sorry, hold on a second. So I'm just gonna pet him while I'm talking for a second. Yeah, on here on Facebook, it is K-C. Mm -hmm. Okay. And next bit of good news. Hello, Susan. Susan. Yeah. Oh, wait, Susan. Hold on a wall. Are you the Susan? Wait, are you the Susan that was coming but not coming, but liking but not liking, but is that you? Are you the right one? Okay. And wait, Teresa needs to vent for a second. Her new job requires uniform. No big deal, right? Uh-oh, and I can't read the rest of it. Hey, hush, hush, hush. Daddy will have to come get you. So, okay. The next good thing is the Walmart grocery haul. Um, we have, um, I think Casey has finally, has finally taught me how to be able, hello Tahira, to take my handwritten grocery list, um, and if y'all can read it, take my handwritten grocery list and put it in a format that you all can print out. You can look it up, and I checked it on my phone, and I can't show you because we're on my phone, but, um, you can pull it up on your phone and you can scroll through, you know, like as you're shopping. Of course, when you're on your phone, you are not going to be able to check off or fill in little circles or, you know, or whatever. And yeah, Tracy, you hear Dusty because when I, I did something earlier and when I went like this, anyway, he thought we were doing something exciting. So I'll, I'll resist using my hands. And no, Melissa, that is not on the app yet. So my Weight Watcher, I mean, sorry, the Walmart. Oh, it's Tracy's first time watching. Yeah, everybody tell Tracy hi. It's T-R-A-C-Y. Hello, Tracy, and welcome. Welcome to our crazy group. So the Walmart grocery haul, I've got two pages of it up. I think there's only one more page, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, and April's doggy Nova is, is sleeping while she's watching. Awesome, yeah. Oh, wait, and Bonnie joined Planet Fitness. Yay, 
Yay, and hi, Lisa. So, anyway, it's, I got two pages of it up now. Hello, Diane. And um, the third one will be up soon. So, handwriting it, believe it or not, is quicker for me than typing it. Don't ask me why. But, um, but I think she has those in a format that y'all can pull them up. Um, and a few of you were successful. I know I can't resist using my hand chat. That's why I made such a good, hey, Susie. That's why I was such, so good at um, sign language. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, and Susan is in San Antonio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's Cassie's first time um, watch, uh, watching live. Yeah, C-A-S-S-I-E. So everybody tell Cassie hello. Um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh, anyway, and a few of you all will be able to print it. So hopefully you all be, will be able to print it if you want to. Um, and hello, Liz. So that was more good news. Um, also, okay, so our third person, haven't seen her on here yet, but my accountability buddy, Karen, it is also her birthday today so yeah I don't normally announce birthdays um, when we're on here live just because this is going to be recorded for later but we have three birthdays so I thought I would okay so that is three bits of good news now um, April okay yeah so the Walmart haul list so I just blubbed all about that um, and didn't tell y'all where to find it so the Walmart haul is already posted without all of its transcriptions but the but the the Walmart haul is already posted on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. If someone could put the, if somebody could, do, oh, thank you, Christy. So I started to say if somebody could do, what is it, 10 push-ups? Was it 10 push-ups that we had to do, um, that y'all had to do for the for the fun night that we had, um, if we said the blog. But anyway, so www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Oh, and it's Carolyn's first time from Michigan. Hello, everybody. Say hello to Carolyn. Um a lot of talking tonight, so it's going to be a lot of water. But um, anyway, so that's already on the blog. And when you pull it up, so when you go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, if you search Walmart or haul, it'll come up either way. And then when you click on it, you can either click on it from a, hello, Chris, you can either click on it on a um, computer or a laptop, which I guess is a computer. And it is a computer or a tablet or a smartphone. So it can be an iPhone or it can be um, Android. So it's already there in the form um, of a, in the, in the form of a digital, you know, thing that you can pull up and you can look at it or you can print it. And thank you, Sybil, for putting the website up. Um, or you can print it, um, but only two pages of it are up right now. And it's so funny because I even posted on there, hey, I'm playing with this. So I only have, like when I only had one of the pages up, I was, I was like, um, hey, I'm playing with this. So I only have one of the pages up. And I had like 15 questions. I can only find one page, one, you know, like one part of the list. And I was like, yeah, it says right below it that I'm playing with it and only have, and there's only one part of the list. But anyway, so two parts of the list are up right now. Um, so yeah, so go check that out, www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. And you can watch. So you can either watch the YouTube, um, and Melissa, you're, um, you're welcome. Um, and anyway, so you can either watch the, um, yeah, Melissa. So if I, Melissa says you were, I was watching Frozen. I was watching Frozen. Did you know, did I say that? I, I'm, I guess I must've said that. So while I've been typing this stuff, yeah, I've watched Frozen twice. I have watched Ratatouille three times, three times. Yeah. Um, Moana is not on right now. I do not, I think actually it's Lion King, but anyway, so what was I going to say? Anyway, hello Donna. You can watch the you can watch the video. So if you go to if you have an egg.com, you can um ooh, wait, hold on. Tahira finally made the cotton finally tasted the cotton candy grapes. <laughs> and hello Brandy from Pennsylvania. Yeah, and you all are more than welcome. You are more than welcome. Um oh, and Sylvia's asking about those three quick recipes. No. No, because everybody wanted the um the Walmart haul first. And everybody tell her, uh, Donna, hey, it's her first time. It's D-O-N-A. Yeah, hello, Donna. And, um, but anyway, so, yeah, I love I love doing this. So, y'all are more than welcome, more than welcome. Um, but the video is on there. And um, and so, I'll have the three, I'll have the three, the third part of the chat. Yeah, I know, Laura. I'll have the third part of the chat up. Hello, my name is up like probably tonight since Casey's been doing the, um, since she has been posting these to YouTube for me on Mondays, ah, that's given me extra time to do that. So, hey, Sylvia, you never know. Maybe, maybe since Casey's saving me all this time and if Alyssa behaves herself tomorrow, 
maybe I'll get one of those recipes put up. Okay, so let's see, we have all that much. Um, and Marlene says my hair looks pretty up. Marlene, this is called, um, my hair appointment is tomorrow and my hair wouldn't do anything today. That's what that's called. Okay, we're gonna do it a little differently tonight. So tonight we are going to start with the, um, the last week, topic and this week's topic and the reason that we're going to do it flip-flop the reason we're going to do it backwards tonight is because um we have i have we whatever have more information on weight watchers change to ww so i want to go ahead and have the meeting topic first because i know once we start talking about ww that i'm going to lose y'all so if we start with that, we will never, ever, ever get to our meeting topic. So who wants to, who wants to go ahead and do our meeting topic? Yeah. And then hear about WW and no, Christy, I'm not going to get distracted. Like I already have like probably three times, but yeah. Okay. So who's ready and who's excited? So we're going to do it backwards. We're going to flip it around. Ooh, and Myra says there's 134 people watching. Yay. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to flip it. We're gonna flip it and we're gonna do this backwards. So for those of you who usually, um, ooh, and Sybil's Dax orders, uh, Spices order is writing tomorrow. Yay! Um, oh, real quick. Um, Casey's gonna put these, Casey's gonna put, start putting these at the bottom, but we have two, um, we have two um, affiliate offers right now for, for our group. So if you are, um, yeah, and Robin, we'll, we will learn more. So we will, I'm sorry, we have two affiliate offers right now, and one of them is with um, DaxSpices.com, and excuse me, that affiliate offer is, when you check out, type in Egg Lady, E-G-G-L-A-D-Y, all run together, and you'll get 10% off. Hey, Carol. Or um, Simple Living Products. Simple Living Products. Um, if you're looking at an air fryer, which mine's getting broken out, not broken, but it's getting broken out tomorrow, I already have my delicata squash ready for it. Yeah. So, yeah. If you're but if, but if you're looking at one of their air fryers, um, we have a ten percent off coupon code for that too right now. Um, it's on. It's just simply or I keep calling it simply. They need to change their mind. Um, simple living products for the uh, for their air fryer. It's for a manual or for a digital air fryer, and it is Egg Lady Ten E G G L A D Y one zero. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna start talking and I'm gonna start talking fast. So if any new people come on here, somebody kinda, you know, wave at me or say something, yeah, um, so that I pay attention to you and I come back. Um, otherwise, I'm gonna start talking. So, oh, Melanie made her delicata squash tonight and it was awesome. Yeah, I told you so, okay. So, we're starting in the middle. So, YouTube people that usually skip, usually go straight to 30 minutes, um, you're gonna be confused. Hey Dorothy, you're gonna be confused because we are flip-flopping it. So we are whoosh, tonight. So first, we're gonna do our meeting who, so that we can talk about WW at the end of this. So who put their bottom in a chair um, and I'll, ah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil the surprise. Who put their bottom in a chair tonight or this week? So who sat their bottom in a little chair? Give us a thumbs up. If you attended a meeting, if you attended a physical meeting this week and sat your bottom in a little chair, Yep, and Kathy, Kathy, ba-bam, exactly. Yeah, you know I love ba-bam. Um, and I used to have a um, thing that we did at work that I would always write wa-bam on it. Anyway, so if you sat your bottom in a chair, let's do a thumbs up. If you attended our meeting last week, if you were here with us last Sunday night, let's do a heart and a heart if you were here for both. So if you did both, a heart. Yeah, lots of boats. Yeah, so YouTube people, there's tons of thumbs ups going by. Lots of people attended a physical meeting and lots and lots and lots of people attended with us last week or attended, um, you know, attended with us here last week or both, or they did both of them. So here are your Bravo stickers. And at the end of this, I will send you, be sure and check back in the comments at the end of this chat. If you were here with us live on Facebook, be sure and check back at the bottom because you will get your Bravo sticker. Yeah, I'll post your Bravo sticker in the comments. Mm-hmm. Yep. Bravo, everybody. Good job. Good job. Who remembers what your homework was, though, for last week? I couldn't forget my homework because my homework came looking for me. So last week, our topic was find more time. And I think I kept calling it make more time or 
something. But yeah, but last, so last week's topic was called Find More Time. And what we talked about last week was um, different ways that you could, um, different ways that you could do, you know, do some things to find some more time. And like um, one of Gwen's ideas, our, our physical leader, Gwen, one of her ideas um, was, or one of the things that she does is um, she has blank note cards she keeps blank note cards. And so that way she already has cards for every occasion and then she hand writes a note. So actually, you know, I mean, that's a great idea because first of all, you have cards. Second, it's less expensive. Third, it's a personal note, you know, and you don't have to make it long, but it's just a personal message, you know, from everybody. Oh, Judy's new. Hello, Judy from New York. She's new. It's J-U-D-I. Hello, everybody say hello to um, Judy. She's new. So, so different ways to find, you know, find some time to save some time. And um, quite a few of you all tagged me um, in your homework. So I got to, you know, so I got to see some of it. But y'all brag about your homework here so that people can see. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. Or um, if you're watching it again on Facebook or whatever, still go ahead and put your comments down. Because we go back and read them. And there are a lot of people. I mean, you all would not believe how many people go back later and either listen to it again here on Facebook or, or read your comments or find your recipes that you've put down or you know your your time saving tips like who was it this week mm -mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh you got a bravo sticker i gave somebody a real bravo sticker today uh who was it for putting things in little bags mm -mm 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 -mm. who was that hey kim um oh who was it somebody i gave you i gave you you know there's a lot of y'all there's a lot of y'all in one of me so sometimes names go um, who was this? Anyway, somebody put, uh, Doc Dilp did some prep work and it was in see-through baggies so they could see both, you know, so it was like they prepped, they got some stuff ready and, and like Osma said, her, her workout, her set out her workout clothes the night before, bam, Sherry made all of her appointments in a circle. Does that mean like driving in a circle? Cool. That's good. Yep. And Susie, it was Susie. Did you get your sticker? Did you like your sticker? I was thinking it was you. I was thinking it was you, but then I got, you know, yay. Okay, Susie. So I think you were only one of, I think I only gave out three of them today because they were new and I just wanted to see, yeah, and it was Susie because I just wanted to see how they went. So anyway, yeah, and Mary keeps her workout clothes in the car. So other, you know, time-saving ideas. So you, what you were supposed to do for your homework is you were supposed to find something that you were going to make some, that you were going to invest some time in it. Um, so you were going to invest some time in something like Carol Lou cooks and preps every Sunday. So she is investing some time into cooking and prepping, and then that will save her some time, you know, later. Sandra made some um, he uh, healthy turkey chili for the week. So she m spent some time making healthy turkey chili for the whole week. Yay, CZ Ledger sticker. Um, but she spent some time um, and then, you know, and then has meals for the rest of the week. Kathy um, spent some time making her meals ahead and putting them in clear containers so she could see them. Yeah, and Judy, I don't know what Ronkonkoma, is that the city that you're in? I just wanna say it, it just sounds fun. It sounds fun to visit. Um, but anyway, so for your homework this week, you were supposed to invest a little time in something to save some time. So what mine was, um, where I invested some time was um, I decided that, and I already had a suspicion that this would work, but I decided that instead of trying to make more hours in my day at work that I needed to invest a little time into me and to some time away from work with Alyssa um, and to in, into some um, away from other adults things. I know that sounds weird, but, um, but I needed to invest some time in that. And I was pretty sure that it was going to make me some more time um, at the end. And I will tell you, it was, um, it was a little weird the first time. I am super pumped about it tomorrow. I mean, super pumped about it tomorrow. Um, having Alyssa with me on Monday. Okay, and for those of you who don't know, Alyssa is now, well, officially, da, 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 the today, nine months old. Um, so having a nine month old in tow from 10.32 a.m. until about 5.30 p.m. last Monday, I got my grocery shopping done. I got my groceries unloaded and in the house. I got, or the loft, I got um, with a nine month old. Of course, you figured the backpack out. I'm gonna get a different backpack though. Um, but we got that done. We got everything put away. 
Um, we got some things cleaned. We got some paperwork done. We got some emails um, responded to while she was taking a nap. We got um, some quality time. I mean, we spent some quality time together. Um, we ate some pears. We ate a little bit of um, sweet potatoes. And um, I actually got my lunch. Um, so, and I got a couple of things prepped. And um, yeah, I actually got like a lot of stuff done. And by the time her mommy came to go get her, I was like, whew. You know, such a nice day. I walked in Tuesday to the 12 crazy people. Hey, Mary. To the 12 crazy adults that work for me. Ugh. And I was like, man, I'll, I'll take staying at home, you know, with the grandbaby any day. So, I invested some time. Ooh, we had 148 people at one point. Thanks, Celine. So, I invested some time, and it actually did make me some time. Um, I actually got, okay, not everything at work is done. It's not all done but I felt a little more prepared. I don't know, I just felt a little bit more prepared for my week. So, so I was, um, that investment was great. So how many of you all invested, you know, some invested some time and found some time? And I see a lot of them coming up, you know, so, and I've already, hello Gladys, and I've already mentioned, a, you know, a few of them. So, um, yeah, it's awesome. And now, so for tomorrow, so tomorrow is another one, I'm gonna get my hair done. And I'm not gonna have to get my hair done at 7.30 at night. I get to have a real appointment during the day, like, you know, an actual human at 1.30. Um, and she's going with me. And John got me a stroller. And this, he got me a jogging stroller. Not that I jog. But so that we can go up and down all the hills, you know, here downtown. And um, it has four cup holders. I'm not really sure why we need four cup holders, but it has four. And I've already packed the little thing that's inside, the little, the um, adult container thing on top. It has, um, let's see, it has a spoon. I have some plain applesauce in there for Alyssa or for me, depending on which one of us is hungry first. I have um, a, you know, a little spoon for her. I have my bottle of water is already in it. I have some lip stuff and Casey, Casey knows how important the lip stuff is to me. Um, I have a roll of Lifesavers. And I have, oh, teething biscuits. I have that and a hair thingies. And it seems like something else. But anyway, so that is already all packed and ready to go. So John got all that all together for me. And I'll tell you, while I was packing stuff, I discovered something that I did not know. These, and yes, I know it's backwards. Um, I'm anxious to try these. These are Happy Baby, Happy Baby Superfood Puffs. And they are an organic grain snack, purple carrot and blueberry. Um, these are... For a half of a cup, a half a cup is only one smart point. <laughs> so, while Alyssa is enjoying these tomorrow, I think I will be enjoying them too. A half a cup, that's actually quite a bit. That's quite a few of them. Uh-oh, it's already one, uh, 8.30. Ah, we gotta, we gotta talk, 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 talk. Okay, so if you did your homework, bravo stickers. Okay, so that was last week. This is this week. This week is, this week's topic is escape emotional eating. So, I just gotta tell you a few things about this. Um, emotional eating is, and I'm gonna be talking and reading and talking and reading and talking and reading. So if anybody new comes up, hello Mary Bell, and I don't see you, I'm so sorry, I will try to catch you later, but I'm gonna be talking and reading a lot. Um, still say hi though. So I just wanna tell y'all that emotional eating is not, is not a character flaw. You have been training for this. You've been training for this moment your entire life. And I have no idea if somebody really smart already said that or if I just made it up. Oh, and Carolyn's new. Yeah, hey, Carolyn. Everybody just say hey to Carolyn, C-A-R-O-L-Y-N. She's new too. Welcome. Um, so I have no idea if I made that up or if somebody really smart did. Anyway, um, but, but if somebody says, you know, you're just eating your feelings, what do you always think? Like, I always think of... Oh, if they're eating their if they're eating their feelings, it has to be sorrow or it has to be pain or guilt. You know, maybe guilt over something or some loneliness. Um, but I do not think I don't know why I don't ever think about eating your feelings. You know, if you're for like joy, what about joy? What about happiness? What about pride? You know, if you're, like, if you're proud of something, somebody or you know something. What about successful? You know, like if you're feeling successful. I mean, those are emotions too. Um, so think about this: on the day that you were born. Um, you felt an emotion. You know, you felt a whole lot of emotions on the day that you were born. Um, you were cold, you know, and then you were probably confused. You know, what's going on? Why, you know, what, what's, what's happening here? And then you probably, you probably got mad that your luxurious baby hot tub was gone. 
So just, you know, you were all warm and, you know, fed and, you know, everything was going good, you know, and then all of a sudden that was gone. So as a baby, you, you know, you got upset, you know, you were upset because the baby hot tub, you know, free ride was over. And guess what? In order to calm you down, what happened? Somebody stuck food in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so somebody stuck food in your mouth and then you were happy again, at least for a couple of hours until it was time to eat again. Then um, you started growing up, you know, and you fell, just got a skin knee. Somebody stuck a cookie in your mouth. You know, you got a skin knee. Oh, here's a cookie. It'll get better. Um, if you're fatigued, what happens? You know, if you're so, so tired and you're fatigued, iced frappuccino. That's Casey's answer. Maybe not an iced frappuccino, but, you know, something like that. You know, so you think of that. Sadness, a pint of Ben and Jerry's. You know, you get where I'm headed with this. So you're not broken. You know, you're not broken and I'm not broken. You know, our reward system is. Nobody ever said, hey, you got a boo-boo. I'm so sorry you fell off your bicycle and you got a boo-boo. How about some baby carrots? Or do you want a sip of water? Yeah, that'll make you feel better. Nobody ever said that. Nobody ever said that. Yeah, we're all, we are all, you know, some of it just, some of us just handle it differently than others, but we are trained from day one, literally from day one to do that. Um, but some ways that you can know, though, that you can maybe slow down just a little bit and know that you are eating for emotional reasons and not, for, you know, for anything else. Um, so if eating, if you think that eating is going to help you avoid the real issue, like if you, um, like if you have a, a, let's pick on the students right now, like if you have a paper due and, and you know you've got to get it done and you know, you know you've got to study and whatever, but you think, gosh, but you know what? You know, it would be great um, instead of studying, you know, instead of going through this mound of, you know, of, of studying and paperwork and whatever, you know, if I had a coffee and a, um, if I had a coffee and a muffin or a shortbread cookie or something, you know, from Starbucks, you know, that would be great. Okay. But that's, it's eating. You're eating to avoid the real issue. You're not eating, you're not, e you're not eating because you're hungry before you start studying, you're eating to avoid, you know, going ahead and doing that. Um, another way that you can tell that you're eating for emotional reasons instead of, you know, to, to, to eat, instead of needing, you know, to nourish yourself is, um, you know, you have the, maybe I'll feel better if I eat itis. So it's, you know, oh, well, um, maybe I'll feel better if I eat, um, some popcorn or maybe I'll feel better if I do whatever. But anyway, so that's maybe I'll eat better if I eat itis. Um, or, um, let's see, you have, maybe you're, um, oh, and one of the examples was, um, so like if you put an ice cube in water and you push it down, like if you're pushing down your feelings, and again, those would be the negative feelings, but if you're pushing them down, like you would a piece of ice in a, you know, um, in some water. So if you're shut, you know, if you think, oh, you know, I'm so mad or I'm so, um, frustrated or I'm so sad, you know, or I'm so lonely, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stuff this, um, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, a hoagie down my mouth or a piece of pizza, you know, or whatever, but you're just stuffing it down, stuffing it down, stuffing it down, stuffing it down, but the feelings are still there. If that's still going on, then they'll, you know, they'll just come back up. Those feelings will come back up just like the water. Um, so Gwen was telling us that we have, you know, our entire lives we have been taught, hey, yay, Karen's here. Yeah, it's happy birthday. Accountability buddy Karen is here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So Karen says like all the birthday cake I just ate. So, Karen just ate a bunch of birthday cake. It wasn't because she was sad or upset or lonely because she sure had people, you know, over there and she was happy because it was her birthday and she was happy because she was surrounded by the people that she loved. But, you know, happy is one of those emotions where you celebrate with cake. You know, again, nobody shows up at your house on your birthday and says, I bought you some snow peas. Yeah, nobody ever says that. You know, nobody ever shows up and says, oh, have this lovely clementine for your birthday. Yeah. But you just have to, you know, you have to recognize it, deal with it. So, Karen, I'm assuming you already tracked those points. I'm assuming, you know, it doesn't mean you can't, you know, you can't eat. Just recognize that you're doing it. So, you know, our, our leader Gwen said, you know, it's kind of this, you know, circle. There's a cue. And the cue in this, you know, in this um, situation was the cue was it was a birthday. So, that's your cue. The reward is birthday cake for your, you know, for your birthday. And the, um, and the behavior is, um, the behavior is eating the cake. So, it, you know, there's a cue, a reward, a behavior. Okay, so we're not going to spend much more time on this because we do need to, you know, talk about the WW things. But I just want to say this. So, how do you bust a bad mood? Last year, last year, I did, this is from last year. Not kidding. Hold on. So, 
this is on my refrigerator from last year, a year ago. Does anyone else still have theirs? I told you all last year, and Gwen tells us this all the time, put this somewhere, and thank you, Sandra, put this somewhere, write this, and this is backwards. I didn't think to do it backwards, but, okay, so when you're, anything that's going on, whatever, if you can stop yourself, and I know this is backwards, if you can stop yourself before you come into the kitchen or get into the refrigerator or get into the pantry or whatever, and this one's on my refrigerator, if you can stop yourself and say, oh, I feel so, and if the word that comes out of your mouth next is anything but hungry, try to stop. Try to stop. So if you say, I feel so frustrated at so-and-so for such and such, or I feel so, um, you know, I feel so sad, or I feel so hurt, you know, I feel so hurt. Um, yeah, and Karen's breaking the news on the cake. I'm telling you what though, um, if y'all got, Karen, if you got the cake where you got the, where you got the glass cake, that's worth 23 points. Um, but if anything, if whatever comes out of your mouth is anything other than I, is, is other than I feel so hungry, then try to stop. Stop. And some things that you can do um, to stop, you can call a friend. You know, you can call somebody and say, hey, you know, I'm getting ready to eat a piece of cake. Or um, you can leave the room or brush your teeth. I know people that brush their teeth. Or I know people that are like, you know, I'm so bored. So they just go ahead and go to bed. Yo, okay, so like Nancy, I feel bored. Yeah, so Nancy, do something to be unbored. You know, you joined us. Surely to goodness you're not bored right now. Yeah, so this may have took your mind off of it. Hey, maybe if you say, I feel so bored, maybe if that's it, maybe you can go, oh, you know what? There are 91 of these chats. I won't be bored if I listen to if I listen to these um, or go for a walk or hug a friend or pet a cockapoo or do, you know, something else, something else, um, you know, other than that. Go on Connect. Um, find an accountability buddy. So, you know, there are lots of times that Karen and I are either going to kill somebody or um, we're going to eat everything that's in the house. And so instead, we go for a walk. So, okay. So your, so your homework for next week. I want you to make another one of these. So if you didn't make one last year or if you've lost yours or if you still don't have yours somewhere, then I want you to make one of these. So this is your homework. I want you to make this and I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to tag me in it. Now remember, you're not gonna fill in the blank because it's gonna depend on the day. You know, I feel so excited. I feel so excited. I should eat everything in the refrigerator. No, 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 no. So that's your homework for this next week. Make one of these out of whatever you want to, put stickers on it, decorate it, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then um, put it somewhere, put it on your refrigerator, put it coming in, you know, put it on your bathroom mirror, somewhere that you'll see. Okay. We have 20 minutes. Will I post what later? Melissa says, will you post it later? What, like that? Like what the homework is? Mm. I can, I can post that. I'll put that right here so that I don't forget. Okay, so everybody is clear on what their homework is, correct? Yeah, and uh, Barbara says her leader gave her uh, the phrase if it um, that's on the fridge, the solution. No, the solution is not in here. That's actually, and yes, Melissa, I will. That's also that's a really good one, Barbara. Yeah, the solution is not in here. That one's really good, really good. Okay, so who's ready? Yeah, and Judy's family just came in, so she had to step away and missed it. Judy, so yeah, Judy, you can go back and watch this. This will be posted when we get done. It'll be posted when we get done. So you, you really didn't miss anything. It'll be posted here on Facebook and it'll be posted um, on YouTube. It'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, and we're at 150 people. Yay, 150 people. Um, and yeah, and JJ wants to know if she could, um, should take the card on vacation this week. Yeah, I think so. I think you should. I definitely think you should. And you know what? I need one of these at work too. Okay, who's ready for some WW? Who's ready? Okay, I'm going to assume y'all are ready. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I do know. And I'm going to answer a few questions. And I um, am going to ask you again, please do not panic. And if you get into a situation where someone else is panicking, please just tell them you are not participating. You're not participating in the panic. There is no reason to panic. Um, I can't think of anything that Weight Watchers has done to or for me ever, ever in 25 years that would call, that would cause me. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cute. Carol says she calls the new program double W. 
That's cute. That is super cute. Um, but yeah, please don't panic and do not participate in the panicking. If I see y'all participating in the panicking, um, the drama, I mean, my gosh, some of these people have just, I just think, you know, if they don't have, you know, if a day goes by and they haven't just fallen apart about something, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe their day's not complete. So please don't panic. Please don't let anybody else panic and don't drag anyone else into the panicking. There is no reason. There's no reason to panic. Okay. Also, we will learn a whole lot more next week. Um, so I'm just going to give you the highlights that I, that I know of um, personally. And I need to remind everybody, I do not work for Weight Watchers. I am not a Weight Watchers employee. I do not work for, I'm not represented by, I'm not subsidized by, I'm not um, affiliated with, sponsored by, whatever, Weight Watchers or WW or Weight Watchers International or any of their affiliates. So I'm not getting any money from them. They do not pay me for any of this. This is not subsidized or promoted. That also means I only know what I know from publicly available information. This is not rumor. I did not go on other Facebook groups and go, oh yeah, and then they're gonna do this, and then they're gonna do that. That is not, that is not on this list anywhere. Hey, Donna. Yeah, none of that, no rumors or innuendos. This is all fact, and this is all fact that you have available. Everybody has this available. I'm just a little bit nosier than most people. And I like to dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. And I love a good scavenger hunt. And this information was like the, the uh, this, get finding this information was like the most fun scavenger hunt of, oh, look at that. Oh, 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 I didn't see this the first time. Oh, I didn't watch this video. Oh, 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 oh. So anyway, this is, oh no, Donna's been sick. I'm so sorry. Um, and yeah, Loretta, I wish. Um, it looks like it's in me a t-shirt or something. Like I could just get a Weight Watchers t-shirt. Um, but anyway, so... This is all public information. So this is not scuttlebutt. This is not rumors. It's all it's all real. So again, please do not twist what I'm getting ready. Don't don't twist what I'm getting ready to say. Um, and if oh, and Sybil says we had, had 155 at one point. So um, I'm going to answer the questions that I know, the things that I know. Um, and if I don't know it, I'll just tell you I don't know. Okay. So I know y'all are going to have. I know y'all are going to have questions as I'm talking. I will not be able to see your questions and answer my questions at the same time. So I'm going to try to do both. But my questions will take precedence because they're already typed. And because, oh no, we're doing good. We've got 15 minutes. So I think we'll be great. Oh, and Wanda says 159. What? Okay, so first things first. This is public information. I did not steal this from anybody. I did not twist anybody. I did not make anybody um, break their confidentiality agreement. Please don't, please do not ask. None of us need this much information this soon, a handful of days ahead of its launch. None of us need this so soon that you bug a, a Weight Watchers employee into breaking their confidentiality agreement and telling you, just leave them alone, okay? Okay, first thing, what is it? So like, what is it? Um, this has been the weirdest announcement ever. Um, it's like, I don't know, like people, some people got the email and some people didn't. And if you didn't get the email, I'm more than happy to forward it to you or I got it um, or I've I posted it in our closed group. And if you want to join our closed group, somebody will post the link below or I'll post it when we get done. But remember to answer the three questions. So I posted it there and I posted it here on the, um, if you have an egg page. And if you're watching this later on Facebook, you will just have to, um, if you're watching this later on Facebook, you'll just have to, um, not Facebook, on YouTube, you'll just have to refer back to the Facebook links. So what it is, okay, Weight Watchers changed their name to WW and they adopted the slogan, Wellness That Works. Okay, that's it, that's, that, that's what they did. So it is still Weight Watchers. Um, and it's still the same philosophies and the same principles and it's same still um, based on, and I'm not going to pronounce it correctly, but Jean Niedich, I hope I said that correctly, it's still based on her same principles of groups of people coming together like-minded, you know, think about that. What do I say all the time? Like-minded people. We are normal. We are normal people. There's nothing wrong with us. We are very normal. The people who who don't enjoy their food like we do, they're the ones that are not normal. But anyway, so it's the same concept, the same 
principles. Um, you know, it's just the same, um, you know, it's the same principles as that. So just keep that in mind. So now it's just called WW instead of, so now instead of Weight Watchers, it's just WW. The next biggest question I got was, can we still call it Weight Watchers? Yeah, of course. I've just accidentally said Weight Watchers like 50 times. So of course we can still call it Weight Watchers. We've been calling it Weight Watchers for, do you realize this? For 57 years. I'm pretty sure it's like 57 years. So we've been calling it Weight Watchers for 57 years. It's gonna take me a little while. It's gonna take me a, while, a little while to get used to it. Okay, and if you haven't noticed, if you haven't noticed, we've all, we have all, almost all of us have been already been accidentally calling it WW um, because we've all been doing hashtags, WW, um, the, the logo. How long is the logo? Does anybody even notice how long? I can, let's, let's just see. Let's just see how long the logo's been changed. So I have probably 50 weekly sitting here. And let's just see. I can go all the way back. I mean, I'm back to, here's March. Um, Uh-oh. I hope my, I hope this doesn't mess up because it just said low internet connection available. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Now a couple of people are saying it froze. So hopefully y'all are right back because I don't know why the internet was not available. But so here's all the way back to, here's all the way back to March. I mean, I can go back further and, um, and I'm not gone. So hopefully y'all are not gone. But anyway, I can, this is just back to March and there are more, there are more than this, but look, it's already had, I mean, we've had the, we've had the WW logo for like, you know, a long time. So we've all already been calling it WW for a long time. And if y'all are back, if y'all are, um, if y'all are back, so I think I'm back. Um, I don't know why I just I had a warning like come across the top of my phone, which was weird that said that it was, um, um, that there was a low, low internet something. Anyway, so I'm going to keep talking because this will be, because this will be, um, you know, posted later. So anyway, we've all accidentally been calling it WW anyway for a long time. So, okay, will we still be tracking our weight? Yes, yes, we will. Okay, and JJ says the new female CEO simplified the name. Okay, it wasn't just her, you know, it wasn't just her. But anyway, will we still be tracking our weight? Yes, yes, we will. We will still be we will still be tracking our weight. Um, so that one seems to be a big, um, it seems to be a big knickers in the wad, knickers in a wad point of contention on Facebook. So um, we still will still weigh in. So I don't know why. I mean, I'm cool. Oh, again, some of these people are just like, you know, um, oh, I woke up today and nothing was already wrong. So I'm going to find something um, to make it wrong. And it doesn't matter. Okay, Loretta's asking if it was Oprah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just WW. It doesn't matter. It's just initials now. And we've all been calling it that for a, a year almost. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, so yes, we will all still be weighing in. And um, I don't know why, why some people just have their panties in a bunch about this weighing thing. I mean, I've, I've been getting hate mail again from people that are saying, well, you know, if, if we're not going to weigh in, I'm going to quit because um, uh, my weight is the only thing that matters. Okay, first of all, I did not change the name. I didn't change the name. There's really no reason for them. And it's not any of you all. It's not any of you all. But there is no reason for them to be jumping me about not weighing in. We will still be weighing in. We will still be weighing in. They are still going to, we are still going to receive weight loss milestones and goals. Um, weight Watchers, I'm sorry, WW will still reward weight loss. They'll still reward weight loss milestones. Um, but let me ask something. So we had, oh yeah, and Carol's exactly right. Kind of like when Kentucky Fried Chicken went to KFC. Nobody thought twice about it. We never looked back. We never looked back. Do you ever call it the whole name anymore? No. The only thing that's weird about it is I keep going WW and Tahira, calm down, calm down. Tahira, seriously, calm down. Give me just a second. No panicking, remember? Okay, so I, so anyway, I, I have a serious question. So I got so many comments and questions on um, 
on uh, about this weight law, I mean about the tracking the weight thing, that people were saying, people were angry and saying that um, they didn't want, they didn't want to know about their wellness. They just wanted, they just wanted to weigh in. That's all they wanted. So I'm serious. I want to know, and thanks Sandra for the time update. I want to know, and I'm not going to pick on you. So if you are only concerned about weight, if you do not care at all about wellness, only weight, give me a, the C a thumbs up. If you want to, if you want though, if you are interested in weight loss as well as wellness, let's see some hearts. So I want to see some, I want to see who, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to see who, you know, who, if your thumbs ups is you only care about your weight and hearts are, if you are want weight loss too, weight loss, yes, yes, weight loss, but you also are concerned about wellness. So here's what I'm concerned about. Yes, I wanted weight loss. Yes, when I was 20 something years old, when I started this, 25, I guess, 26, um, back then, I was only worried about my weight loss. Okay, I'm 51 years old now. I'm way, 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 I honestly could care less. Oh, sure, when I get on the scale, yeah, I wanna see that I'm at goal. Of course I do, but, but, I am so much more concerned about wellness now than ever. I mean, ailing parents, you know, um, water retention, um, you know, visiting nursing homes. Oh my gosh, I'm so much more interested in my wellness now. So, I mean, don't y'all have friends that are thin, but they still have high blood pressure or they're, they're um, you know, skinny or, you know, fit, or not fit, but like, you know, you think, oh, wow, you know, they wear a size three jeans or whatever, but they still have high blood pressure or ha are diabetic or have other, you know, or have other health issues. Um, you know, I, I don't, I just don't know. Um, and Loretta, that's exactly it. Loretta says it's a, she needs a lifestyle, not a quick fix. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So, I mean, are they saying, are those people saying that they want to be thin to the detriment of everything else? I mean, being thin's great, but I don't know. I just, I get the feeling that they're saying, oh, I could care less, could care less about my health. I just want to be thin, you know, and I'm sorry, I'm getting ready to make some people mad, not y'all getting ready to make some other people who will watch this later mad and I am hashtag sorry not sorry but if you just want to be thin to the detriment of you know to the detriment seriously detriment to, to the detriment of everything else if thin is more important to you than anything else um then I don't think Weight Watchers not y'all I don't think Weight Watchers is ever for them um it's a way of this is a way of life it's not it's not a diet it's not a quick weight loss diet so I think we've been grooming been being groomed for this for a long time. Um, okay, the next thing, are we changing point systems? Are we changing point systems again already? Are we? No, we're not. We still are doing freestyle. We still are doing smart points. Points are still calculated exactly the same way. It is not changing. Um, there are no immediate changes um, to any points or to any plans. Um, here in the U.S., I can speak for the U.S. I cannot, I have a comment about other countries, but um, they're, so freestyle, it's still freestyle. So calm down, <laughs> still freestyle, still smart points, still calculated the same way. So people that were spreading the rumors about the scales and about all this other stuff, you know, um, calm down. It's not because the scales were not, some scales were discontinued. Um, it's, it's, it's time for them to, they have to be updated to the new information, to the new information. So it has nothing to do with changing from freestyle or smart points. So that, that one's off the table. Still, still freestyle, still smart points. Um, okay, there are not any immediate changes to the points or to the plant, to our plans. Um, so no point changes in food. People's points are not going down. Um, so I heard, I heard some rumors. People were saying, you know, oh, you're going to get less daily points. No, you're not. It's still the same. The still our, For us, the, the point system is still the same. Okay, there will be new materials, but that's only to reflect the new terminology and to, foc and to um, point out the new focus on wellness. So yes, there will be new materials. There will be new books. There will be new, um, you know, like the books that you get on your first day, you know, like when you're first going, but it's just because it has to have the new WW. Um, it has, and it has to, and it's all gonna start focusing around, um, um, you know, wellness, the focus on wellness. But the new materials don't come out until December. So don't start, don't go next week or this week and go, hey, you know, the egg lady said that y'all are gonna start handing out, you know, new materials this week. I did not say that. Okay, 
then I had the question, you know, my friend lives in Canada, UK, XYZ, wherever your friend lives, um, and her plan is different, will it change too? So, from what I understand, Weight Watchers WW um, is, using, is using digital technology to bring us all closer together, all of us. So, you remember when they had the Better Together slogan? Um, so, worldwide, we really will be better together. But I think it's going to take them a little time, so be patient. But I don't think, I think so. Instead of having, you know, like I had friends in the UK and um, they called them, oh, I can't remember. They don't call them, they don't call them, ah, uh, like zero points. They didn't call them that. Um, they call, you know, they called them something else. But we'll all, we will all be better together, but it'll take a little bit. That part will take a little bit of time. Okay, we still got a few more. When does it start? the digital changes, the digital changes. So that's what's gonna show up on your Weight Watchers app, on the computer. Um, so anything that's digital for Weight Watchers, that will, it'll show up on our apps starting Thursday, October the 4th. So this is another one of those moments where you need to, if you don't already know it, you need to write down your username and password <coughs> because you may be asked to log back in. So if you are already, um, if you're already, if you already have the SYNG, yeah, S-Y-N-G, yeah, that's one of the things, sorry, that they call them in the UKs, but call them in UK, the UK. But if you, um, if you had the um, beta testing toggled on, yeah, like my app has been freaky this week because it's like getting, you know, stuff, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, and Lisa, it's not, it is not updated. It is, that is, um, that you're, you probably have your, um, uh, yeah, you probably have that toggled on. But anyway, so your apps will all change. It should change on October the 4th. On October the 4th, and that's the day of Laura's colonoscopy. So congratulations, you get an app update for your colonoscopy. Um, the meeting location um, changes, they, they will begin to discuss it on, so that's a Thursday. So Thursday, October the 4th, that's when it should change digitally. So your computer, your laptop, your um, smartphone, whatever, that should change on October the 4th. Meeting locations will begin to discuss it on Sunday, October the 7th. So you only have to wait until next week. So yeah, so that will be, and that's when they will start to discuss it. Okay, so what else do you need to know? We have like 30 seconds, because y'all know these always end right at an hour. But anyway, so what do you need to have? What else do you need to know? For now, this is what I know. Meetings will no longer be called meetings. They will be called wellness workshops. Um, where you have your meeting will be called a studio. Um, leaders will be called wellness coaches. Hey, Orlando Debbie. Um, leaders will be called wellness coaches. Um, I am going to change my, the name of our live chats. Um, when you see this posted, I changed it to say digital wellness workshop. And yeah, beta test, at least that's what I meant. So I'm gonna change the name of these to a digital wellness workshop. And that is only, again, I do not work for Weight Watchers. I do not have to, I do not have to do any of this. Um, but um, I'm gonna change it to digital wellness workshop just so that it, you know, kind of, you know, so it kind of, uh, you know, all coincides so that it all kind of matches. So, um, and yes, Sandra, I know it's nine o'clock. Oh, well, we're always after nine. Um, so I'm going to change the name of our things. Um, online memberships will now be called digital memberships. Online plus meetings will be called digital plus studio because remember your meeting place is going to be changed. The name will be placed to, name will be changed to studio. So it will be a studio. Um, the app date will, the app will, the WW app, not the, if you have an egg app, the WW app will um, update accordingly and it will start to reflect the wellness goals in addition to points, activity, and other wellness that can be tracked. And all of those names will become apparent in a few days. Um, members will be rewarded for healthy habits with a new program called Wellness Wins. And Wellness Wins will recognize healthy habit goals and reward us with wins so now instead of getting points or whatever we'll get wins and wins are like bucks and you can collect your wins and you can use them for prizes so y'all know how much I love fabulous prizes so collect your wins you know you're gonna want to get you're gonna want to get um, you know co anyway collect them so that'll start um, soon and then we can redeem the wins for prizes and I have and um, when I post this there will be a link to the, their article about that so that you can read a little bit more about the wins because I'm like you know excited I don't know I'm excited about winning stuff Karen and I love the charm so we 
you know, and we were like, what? So, um, yeah, so we're excited about that. Okay, and Lacey, so y'all know, this is, this is all I know. So there will be more information. They have not said yet how all this works. Okay, and, um, wait, uh, sorry, I almost said it. I almost said, I almost said Weight Watchers. Anyway, WW um, is going to be teaming up with a company called Headspace, and that's, this is for a future project, and um, you, Tahira, you will still earn fit points, but they'll be called something else. Wellness points? I don't know. I have, that part I haven't seen yet. Um, but they are teaming up with Headspace for future ways to use science. So there's science behind this um, to change to help change our behaviors. So, um, and Laura is saying, I miss the charms. I don't know. Are wins, are the wins, can you get charms with that? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? You might be able to get charms with your win points. I'm not saying they're gone. I did not say they were gone. But anyways, I'm pretty excited about the headspace thing because I know there are a lot of us that even though I understand I am normal and I understand we are, you know, we're all, <coughs> you know, in this together. I don't know. I'm kind of excited about the, um, the, the headspace thing. Yeah, it might be meditation. It could be um, games that you play with your brain. Um, you know, I'm all about finding new ways to, exer to exercise your brain too. Um, but that is, anyway, that's, that's for the future, you know, and I, but I'm getting pretty excited. So, um, uh oh, and Poldark, Melissa's got to go because Poldark just started. Mm, I haven't started watching that one yet. Okay, new cookbooks. There will be new cookbooks. So, your grandmother's old Weight Watchers cookbook that had all these tuna recipes and jello mold recipes. Those are a collector's item now. So, go ahead and put those on eBay. You know, go ahead and put that they're, you know, retro, antique, whatever you want to call them. Um, so, those are all old news now. The new books are gorgeous. They are so so pretty. They're so pretty, and it looks like they have simple and easy recipes in them. Um, I can't wait to crack one open and actually look inside of it. So Karen says she loves Headspace. Let us know what they, what other things they already offer. So the cook, you know, the cookbooks are beautiful. So I can't wait to see them. Um, the snacks. Hello. Enough said. Snacks. I have never. Well, I shouldn't never. Shouldn't say never. I rarely, 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 rare, rarely ever um buy the snack buy the snacks that they have yeah benches lisa um the snacks that they have at our meeting because when you pick them up and flip them over and you say you see you know like red dye number two carbon you know things that you can't pronounce you know when you see a bunch of ingredients that you can't pronounce i don't know i just i hardly ever buy anything i have to be pretty desperate to buy something um but now they will have um, less ingredients. They will have no artificial sweeteners. They will have no weird colors. They will have preservatives. They're going to be gone. No preservatives. So it's a snack party and I'm going, you know, I am going to the snack party. I can't wait to see, um, what, you know, what flavors they've come up with and, you know, how, what exciting things that they've, you know, colored them with. So the last one I'm going to talk about tonight, and this is the one that I'm actually the most excited about. Um, I had seen, a handful of little things about this, but I didn't really understand what they were talking about. Um, I want to know more. I want to know more about this one. Um, and I feel like we are already doing this every week when we have our live wellness workshops. I feel like we're already doing this every week. Um, I feel like we're doing this every time we share one of these, like every time you all send one of these, um, you know, a link to one of these videos, when you share it with a friend, um, when you sign a friend up to do this free, you know, cause this is free. When you, um, sh you know, share a free digital workshop, when you love on another WWR, cause we're not like doctors anymore, another WWR, when you make a meal and share it with somebody, when you share a recipe, when you post a recipe, when you post something, um, great that happened today, um, when you call somebody and encourage them, you know, when you talk somebody off of the M&M, you know, cliff, um, you know, when you do something like that, I feel like you're already doing this, but Weight Watchers is launching something and they've already launched it. I think like baby launched it. Um, it's called, it's called, I'm sorry, WW, it's called WW Good. And, um, it's, it's, a, I think the program's already kicked off and I wish I could have gone to one of the first, um, the first ones that they had, um, you know, around the, around the country. They, none of them were near me, but maybe they'll come to me. Maybe they'll come to us and they'll have one for our meeting. Anyway, um, for our workshop. But um, it's, I'm excited about them because it looks like, so from everything that I've read, it looks like that what they're doing, um, WW, WW Good, and this is good, so it's WW Good, um, is going to be, they're trying to make a global impact on our communities for better health for everyone 
like for everyone. So all of us. So like I think you know um, they gave they were giving out um, bottles of water and apples and fruit to um, you know to kids that you know that were um, what did they call oh, what did they call that um, not they didn't call it underprivileged they called it. Um, Oh, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to think of the word. I'm gonna have to find the word and I'll post it, you know, and I'll post it when I post the notes. But, um, but it was just, I don't know, it was just so, I don't know, it was just so neat because they were giving people an opportunity, people who didn't know what Weight Watchers was, but WW Good was giving them an opportunity to have fresh fruit for their children, to have, you know, meals for, you know, for kids before they went to healthy meals before they went to school, to teach people how to cook, to, um, I don't know. It just it just it just excites me because I don't know. It's what I feel like we do every single week when we help somebody else. So I think I think I think that we are doing WW good here. Here. Yeah. So I think we're doing a great job. Okay. So, underserved. I think underserved might have been it, um, Rhonda. Thank you very much. So, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, un it was underserved. Okay, so, anyway, I'm super excited about it. I'm feeling weird because we did it, we did this backwards, but I wanted to go ahead and tell y'all as much as I knew, um, and, um, yeah, and Cheryl, I know Cheryl's saying that there will be panic, but you know what? I'm not participating. I refuse to participate in the panic. So, if you're in one of those other groups and they're having a meltdown, um, just back away. It is okay. I'll tell you what I tell Casey all the time. When somebody drops a drama bomb, if they'd come in and drop a drama bomb, oh, and thank you, thank you, Sylvia. I hope I did it all correctly. Um, but if somebody comes in and drops a, a drama bomb, you don't have to pick it up. You can just walk up, you can just go away. Just back, you know, just back up, don't pick it up. So drama bombs, no, just, just, just leave it. You don't have to pick it up. Okay, so it feels weird because we did this backwards, but it is 9.09, and I'm sure John would love to have supper, and I'm sure he'd love to be able to speak again. But anyway, so let me see if Dusty will come say goodnight. Buddy. Buddy. Because this is one of the ways that you get out of emotional eating. So no one needs to be upset about the changes. Nobody needs to be scared of them. So the emotions of upset, scared, worried, all those, and they're off the table now, off the table. No drama bombs, remember, because it's gonna be good. Um, all the changes that are coming are gonna be good. They're all pretty. <laughs> I know that probably doesn't matter. Um, I know that probably doesn't matter to anybody, but all but all the changes look really pretty. So I think they've um, I think they've definitely have gotten somebody in there that's uh, got a little bit of uh, artsy fartsy marketing skill. But yeah. So Susan, the homework. So in case y'all missed it because a lot of y'all are thinking, oh, the meeting's at the end. So in case y'all missed it, your homework was to make something like this to put on your refrigerator, on your bathroom mirror, wherever you spend a lot of time, that just says, I feel so, excuse me, and has a blank line. And if you, um, excuse me, so if, it, if the answer is, if the answer is, I feel so, and if it's anything other than hungry, you gotta go do something else. So I want y'all to make these. And then I want you to tag me in it when you post it so that I can see it. And everyone, yes, exactly. Teresa says, have a wonderful WW week, everyone. So, and thank you, Sybil, for posting the group. So, y'all have an amazing week, and we'll definitely know more next week. Have a great one. Thank you. Good night. Oh, wait. Here's Dusty. Say good night, buddy. Say good night, buddy. Yeah. See you later. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Don't forget to, to like. And subscribe so you can watch these later. Bye.